there's a lot of things that are broken within the movie test pattern. And I'm not referring to the writing, the directing, the production value, or anything like that when it comes to the movie. I'm talking about the story that's telling. And the story it's telling is essentially about a relationship that is challenged when the woman, Renisha, played by Brittany S. Hall, is seems to be a victim of sexual assault. And Evan, Will Brill, uh, the man in the relationship, is insistent that they go to a hospital and get a rape test administered. And we see breaks in the healthcare system when it comes to not only acquiring rape tests, but also being able to have them administered. We see breaks in the justice system when it comes to when it comes to reporting sexual assault and having it uh, investigated, and we see breaks in the relationship between Evan and Renisha, and we see those the cracks that are going to turn into that um, drama between them. Uh, throughout the movie and the way Shatara Michelle Ford, the writer-director, has structured the movie. And it's a very ingenious way of structuring the movie and the way it builds to the assault and the way it builds away from that. And then the way we follow Evan and Renisha through the aftermath of that and we we understand where both characters are coming from we understand where the <clears throat> where each person is coming from we understand why Renisha just almost wants to um wait to a certain extent it feels like Evan is pushing her to a certain extent to get this done and she's she's just needing rest. She's just needing um, time to breathe after what happened to her happened to her. And it's a very thoughtful movie. It's a very uh, touching movie. And it's a very poignant movie. The performances are really strong. The writing and directing is really good. Um, it's playing tonight at the Atlanta Film Festival. I will be in another screen at that time, so. I wanted to at least watch the media screener for it um, so I could give it a uh, watch because it was a movie I was interested in before the festival, and I'm glad I got to see it. There are going to be a couple more of those that I'm going to watch through the uh, media screeners as opposed to the screenings, and uh, Test Pattern was one of those that I wanted to make sure I got to. Uh, throughout the during the festival and that's it for me this is brian scuttle of sonic cinema www.sonic-cinema.com i have a uh, lot of really good content going for the atlanta film festival i have reviews i've got podcasts i'm gonna have interviews with some of the filmmakers i'm really looking forward to sharing those and that's it thank you very much and i hope you enjoy the if you're there, I hope you enjoy the rest of the Atlanta Film Festival. If you're not, I hope you enjoy the um, journey through the Atlanta Film Festival. It's definitely been a different experience this year, but it's been one of the most rewarding ones that I've had. And so, thank you very much.